So question six then, a form of higher question. There's a design here made up of these two circles, two tangent circles, and two tangent lines to the outer circle. And the effect of use is to find the total length of all the parts here of all those lines and circles. Right, total length of silver wire. No units, or just say units. It gives me this equation for the inner circle, and I don't need anything else because those numbers tell me all I need to know. To find, work out the lengths, I just need to know the radius of the small one, get its circumference, radius of the big one, get its circumference, and then somehow work out the lengths of those lines, and I'll have two of them. Well, first of all, if that's the equation of the inner one, I can get it centre straight away. There's no x term, so it must be zero, and half of that, so it's negative 3.2. So the centre's at negative 3.2, which means its radius must be 3.2 without even putting it into the formula. So it means the radius of the small one's going to be 3.2 units. And that's one of them done, so I can work out its circumference. The larger one, well I don't need its equation because I can see it goes from the origin to 4, so I could put the working down this way. The diameter's 4, so the radius must be 2. So now I know the second one as well. I know the radius of the big one, the radius of the smaller one. So that just leaves a case of what's the length of this line? Well, it's a tangent line. It's a tangent to the outer circle. The radius must meet the tangent at right angles, which is a tangent kite there. That's going to form this right angle triangle. And in that right angle triangle, if I pick it out to the side here, I've got this right angle triangle. And it's this length I want here, I'll just call that D. And I've got the radius of the big one was 2, so that distance is 2. Now, this part here must go from the centre. If the radius is 2, then that must be at negative 2. So negative 2 to 6 means there's 4 between these, so this part's 4. Well, that just means I've got double a 1, 2, root 3 triangle. So straight away I can say D equals 2 times root 3, because I had a a 1, 2, root 3 triangle. Well, you could just do Pythagoras with it and you get the same result. So there's the parts that I need. I know the circles, I know the lines. So, for the final length then, well, I could put it down in one line or I could just list them separately. What's the circumference? Ooh. Clash of letters there of the larger circle. Remember, you, you can use either pi d or 2 pi r, whichever. So it'll be pi times double that. 2 times 3 upon 2, so that's 3 pi. What's the circumference of the second circle? It will be pi d as well, so that's going to be pi times double the radius, which is 2, so that's 4 pi. And the total length of those two lines? So the two lines are going to be 2 times 2 root 3, which is 4 root 3, all being in units, because it didn't actually say centimetres anywhere. Right, there's the three bits. Inner circle, outer circle, and the two lines. So what's the total length? Add them up. So the total length of wire, total length of silver, let I just say, will be 3 pi plus 4 pi plus 4 root 3, which is exactly 7 pi plus 4 root 3. Or, if you want it as a decimal, just put it into your calculator, and you get 28.919, etc., which is 28.9 units. So either of those forms. That being the exact answer and that being the decimal approximation to it. There is.